Yo, what's happening, man? We back. It's your boy LeMac Badass, a.k.a. Mac Millionaire, a.k.a. Mr. Always on Time, a.k.a. Mr. I Don't Drop uh, Podcast Every Three Months, a.k.a. Chief Stepper Mac. I'm in the building. What's up, Mac? Hey, y'all gotta clap it up for me because I'm back. And I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me. Yo. But I'm not going to waste too much of y'all time, man. Y'all know why we here. You can see the title of my Struggle YouTube channel. Hey, salute. I, I made three subscribers this week. Salute to me. But yeah, my little Struggle YouTube channel. Um, As you might know, I'm from Miami-Dade County, Florida. Salute to Miami-Dade County. I'm um, born and raised. I was born in North Shore Hospital. Spent most of my time in Cass City, Florida. Salute to Cass City. So, I am well... Versed on trick daddy verbiage, you know, you know what I mean? Because he's also from Miami. He has a lot of influence in Miami. Um, I listen to a lot of his music, and there are a lot of people who share very similar trick daddy isk mannerisms and or talking points. So, as you see by the title, right? Your boy Trick is on the radio. We salute the Trick for being on the radio. He going loot. Oh, he was not on the radio. This is on Clubhouse. He's on Clubhouse. He's talking about how he feel like Beyonce can't sing S A N G to not be confused with S I N G, right? And then he also went on to say how Jay Z is not the best rapper alive or something like that. So let's get into it. Let me let me play the audio for you real quick. Let, let's see um what Aunt got to say. I call it trick that Aunt. Now, when I was growing up um, in Miami, based on the true story was coming out, and I'm going to try to see if I can put it on here. Based on the true story, is the album cover is him on a food stamp. And imagine like going to practice or something and all down 183rd Street, there's posters of this crazy ass looking nigga on a food stamp on every stoplight. I mean, when, when I was growing up, I thought Trick Daddy was like the craziest nigga I've ever seen in my life. Oh God, just from seeing him on the poster. So anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> fuck with her cause she see money. Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music and then that Beyonce don't write music and Betty can sing her motherfuckers. So Beyonce can't sing. I don't like Beyonce. Okay. She definitely can't I sing. I don't know why they be thinking she can sing. They just Man, sing. I Beyonce. watch my God Mama train Beyonce she give her vocal lessons all her I career, man. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce can't go. All she do is holler. Listen, Beyonce, I take she can Kelly sing, over but she not a roll like that. I, I, I take Kelly over her. I'm going to say I'm, 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 I'm my unpopular right. opinion right now. Beyonce is the R&B what Jay-Z is to New York. That's why they together. Jay Z ain't never won the the greatest rapper alive. Yeah. Whoever whoever put him on a, a level of that. New York lost yeah. Biggie. They needed a hero. They wanted to be the mega of, of, of hip hop, and they just handed it over to Jay Z. You go back and you do the history of records I mean, oh, and all that. Oh, Jay Z is my That was the case too. Man, DMX was doing 10, 15 million oh, yeah. albums, man. Most definitely, because it definitely wasn't no damn Jay Z. But don't don't remember Jay Z changed his name three, four times. Yeah, yeah. The first time y'all ever heard of Jay Z, he got on a record with some nigga from down south called Big Pippin. Yeah, yeah. I heard him on the hard read. Yeah. And y'all, they'll tell y'all right now, oh, that's Jay Z song. You'll go Google and they'll say, yeah, it's Jay Z song, right? The style put him out. But they ain't gonna tell you Jay Z bought the motherfucker song after the bitch got beat. Mm. That's the UGK song, man. Yeah, uh, that ain't, ain't nothing about that record. It's no East Coast New York record. Nothing about that. Nothing. nothing. And what? And then, and then, then at that time, Bit what Bit East Coast nigga came and got a nigga yeah. from the South to do a record with him, man? Right. But we got a fuck right. for that at least. That's yeah, yeah. for a little bit. That's kind of hard. That's hard though. You now you, you can't tell what nigga, nigga from. All them niggas sound like us in the South now. Yeah. <laughs> You can't, I swear to God, niggas ain't got, only niggas still got their little accent is Detroit and a, and a few Cali niggas. And the Baltimore niggas. Baltimore. <laughs> and you can tell the Baltimore niggas, you can tell the Baltimore niggas morely on conversation. New York niggas be saying fuck nigga and pussy nigga like, those is Miami words, first of all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
pussy asshole. Ain't nobody ever said pussy asshole in New York. That trip is going off. <laughs> nah, they don't even talk like that, though. That part, that part. They, they talk about their mother. They mother. They mother. They mother. They mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sons and gods, yeah. they be they religious. They be My saying mom, son and son. god. They religious. That's religious, ain't it? I'm gonna just stop right there, um, because I'm assuming that scraping is off the internet, being that I could barely find this. So I'm, I'm gonna assume that um some uh crackdown is going to happen on my struggle YouTube channel. So we're gonna stop. So um my first instinct is that. I had no clue he spoke about Beyonce for that little bit of time to warrant that much pushback from the Beehive. Like I, I, I thought he kind of went in on Beyonce, but he didn't. So let's let's really unpack this, right? So first, let's start off by um, addressing the context of this conversation, right? This is on Clubhouse, so this is not like a professional meeting. This is not. Um, a record label executive. This is not um, the radio. This is not an extremely public place. This sounds like barbershop talk, right? And, um, you know, for all the ladies who watching this and you ain't never been to a barbershop before, the barbershop is damn near the one place in the world where you can have your specific opinion and argue with other niggas about your specific opinion. And a lot of the times it's about music. Facts. If you go into well, if you come if you come with me to my barbershop, that shit feel like you is in the episode of BT Rap City the basement. Nigga, it, it's music videos playing, all types of shit I ain't never heard before. Niggas arguing who signed who artists. You dog, you would think my you would think the barbers in the barbershop was record executives, the way they talk about shit. So I say that to say that um Whatever Trick Daddy is going to say, I don't think it is in a malicious form to hurt anybody, even to hurt Beyonce or to hurt in to to tear down anybody or, or anything of that nature. I think it's really just barbershop talking. You know, sometimes with barbershop talk, it's harsh, right? So let's say, um, I don't know, let's say there's a starting quarterback for the Dolphins. Let's say let's say Tua Tagaloa. If I butchered his name, I apologize. We're going to be in the barbershop. There's a lot of people that's going to call him trash. He is trash. This man just started like 14 games for an NFL corporation. He can't be that trash. But somebody in that barbershop, they're not going to say he's not that good. He probably shouldn't start. That's what you probably should say, right? We, he probably shouldn't start. We should trade him. That's, that's an accurate assessment. Nah, he trash. In, in, in barbershop talk, there's no in-between. Either it's good or it's horrible. Either it's extremely excellent or Nick, get that, get it on the table. It's one of the two. So when he says she cannot sing, I don't think he's saying she physically can't sing. She can't carry a tune. She doesn't have a voice. I think he's comparing her to the generation in which he grew up listening to. Because um, as a connoisseur, a trick daddy music, you know that he um is like real, what he say, Geechee, he real country. And he listens to a lot of country Stuff like the Betty Wrights. I think Betty Wright is from Miami. Uh, the dude he got the uh, thug holiday from. On a holiday. I forget his name. Michael Sterling. You know what I mean? So his, uh, I feel like his, what he expects out of R&B music is honestly a generation a generation thing. You know what I mean? Like the, the singers from Beyonce's generation don't sing like that. If that makes sense. Like it's a lot more rap singing. There's a lot more. I I, I so when I, in my opinion, when he says she can't sing, I don't think he's saying like, man, she really can't sing at all. She's horrible. He's comparing her to the R and B of the old, where you have to, I guess, extend your vocals a lot more than you have to do with the new. So that's what I got from that. And this is coming from, hey, this is coming from a Beyonce fan. I mean, I I don't. I don't listen to R&B music like that, but I think she a GOAT for real. You know what I mean? Anytime somebody can tell somebody to jump and they say how high, I got to pay attention to that. You know what I mean? And I like some of her music. The Before I Let Go, that's my personal shit right there. And um, uh, Flawless, that's my shit. I like, I like Trap Beyonce, you know what I mean? And I really appreciate her artistry. I really appreciate her rollout, the way she gets her music out there. And um, I just think it's cool as shit for her to be 
the type of performer and um artist that she is uh, within our generation. And I, you know, hey, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all another story. Like, when, when when I was in the fifth grade, I never get ninety eight. I was in the fifth grade. Destiny's Child had came out. Right, me and my dog, me and my brother, you can ask him, you know, it's only me and him at home. So we, we oh, who you got? Who you got? Ah, ah, ah. My dog picked Beyonce and Kelly. That's that was his. He like, oh, Beyonce and Kelly. I picked L- Latoya and Latavia. Yeah, yeah I think that's their names. So it's, it's, it's funny that mine's got kicked out of the group and his stayed in the group. But yeah, so. All right, man. Salute to Beyonce. She really deserved more flowers while we here. But listen, y'all really need to relax. So I don't know if you know this shit as well. So after that happened, I guess the Beehive, they got activated. They got activated. And they got they got on Google and they started leaving horrible reviews um, on Sunday's eateries uh, Google review page. On some Beehive shit. Like, what? You said something? <laughs> Spray the whole... Hey. But boom, move the reviews down. Do you got people in Miami like, hey, we gotta represent the crib, nigga? Hey, everybody go report all they, all they. Ah, the crib. Hey, the trick. The crib stood up for you. The crib. Hey, the crib stood up for Chick Daddy Dallas. Here's one. Hey, trick. You, if y'all ain't never been to Sunday's Eatery, right? It's in a, a city. They call it Miami Gardens now. When I was growing up, it was hey, we it was just Carrot City. So Miami Gardens is kind of comprised of a few neighborhoods. Trick Daddy's restaurant is in Miami Gardens. I think it is the craziest shit in the world that people fly to Miami to visit Trick Daddy's restaurant. In, in the hood. That's why. Hey, listen. That's all I got to say about that. Salute to Trick Daddy and salute to Beyonce and salute to uh, Sunday's Eatery. I'm going to go wait in that long ass line one of these days, I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna hop on my scooter. I'm gonna go stand out there uh, just for takeout. And I'm taking it home. I'm not even gonna eat. I don't even know if you can eat inside the. But hey, we're gonna move forward. Salute. So, so now we gotta talk about Sean Carr. I have been saying this for years that Jay Z is not the greatest rapper alive. He is not. That title belongs to one Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. What's up, Wayne? Bro, how you gonna? I am from the very bottom of the map, Miami, Florida. I ain't never went to a block party, a club, uh, anything. I, I ain't never even heard in in the cars driving by. I've in my lifetime, oh God, I ain't never heard nobody. Even the radio, let's talk about it. Even the radio, I ain't never heard nobody play a single Jay Z song, not one time, except for what tricks it when Big Pimpin' drop. People people play Big Pimpin'. The high remix, like Buddy was talking about, the high remix that was the worst verse ever made in the history of rap. You done find yourself into some deep shit. Now you gotta peep the remix. Trash. It's the it's the worst verse I've ever heard in my life. Oh so, yeah. So I remember one time I was in high school, and I've been saying this. I think Jay Z not the best rapper for my entire life. I, I always thought Jay had a boring flow. People be like, he got bars, and then they read you the lyrics. Nigga, if you gotta read me the lyrics, I don't wanna hear that shit. Nigga, this is music. If you gotta, this not, I ain't asked for poetry. Nigga. <laughs> the hell, you gotta read it to me? Let me read it to you. Look, he trying to say this, and he trying, hey bro, listen. I, I, <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm smart. I ain't that. Hey, I ain't that goddamn smart. Come on, man. So yeah, I remember I was in high school. I must have been a junior or a senior. I don't remember right. So I'm talking. I, I might have been. I'm older than whoever this person I'm telling y'all this story about. So I'm a junior. I gotta be a junior. So I'm sitting there talking my little spiel of how Jay Z trash. It's like 2003. Man, Jay Z ass. Ah, I don't. I don't listen to that shit. Ah, buddy walked up to me like this. He said, he said, look, dog. This it, it was still in the CD case. He said, look. It's the black album. You can have it. Don't don't even worry about giving it back. Just listen to it. True story. 
So I take it. I like, hey man, shit, I ain't no, hey, hey, maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me listen to the black album. I put the black album in my car. I'm bumping the black album. As a matter of fact, um, Dirt Off Your Shoulders was on my highlight tape, my football highlight tape from my junior year. I've been bumping the black album all year. Tell me why. Every time somebody gets in my car, they tell me how weird it is I'm listening to Jay-Z. Man, turn this shit off. Every time, ask Ali, I just saw Ali, ask Ali, every time Ali get in my car, oh, here go Bob listening to this, here go Matt listening to this Jay-Z shit, uh, 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 uh. Hey, you can, hey, you can walk if you don't listen to the black album, did not back out. Niggas, bro, niggas act like I was tripping listening to Jay-Z 30 years later, or 20, how old am I? 10, 15 years later, 10, however many years it's been, like 15 years later, all of a sudden, Jay-Z the best rapper ever. Nigga, not too long ago, y'all niggas was ranking on me for listening to Jay-Z. All of a sudden, he the GOAT. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, listen, Dane Dash, you are the best promoter in the history of promotions. I agree. I, I, hey, Dane got the world thinking that Jay-Z is the best rapper ever. That is great marketing. I firmly believe if you say something enough, that people would just believe you. Like, maybe I shouldn't call this the Struggle YouTube channel. Maybe I should say this is the most popping channel on the internet. Because I feel like if I did that, because that, that's all Jay did. Hey, I'm the GOAT. That what LeBron be doing. Hey, I'm, I'm the, I think I should be the GOAT. Yeah, I know, right? You say that shit enough, people will start believing you, and I believe that's the case in Jay-Z. But, since I'm not a negative Nancy, I'm not a negative Nancy, I'm going to say this. Hey, Jay-Z be giving niggas hell on Southern Beats. Bruh, when the producer is from the South, is he gives you hair. That's why any Jay-Z with Cali slaps. The guy down, I got the keys. That shit hard. The guy down, down this is probably the same album. They don't love you no more. That shit hard. Even, let's go back to the 90s. Jay-Z and JD, money ain't a thing. Do I, I really got to explain y'all how hard that shit go? So I think I think to redeem himself for lying to us about being the best rapper ever, Jay Z should go and make an album with a bunch of Southern producers. Cause one thing about see he got that lazy New York flow, right? Lazy. Oh, I'll take a take, ee, ee, ooh, 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 ah, ee, ee, ooh, ah, ee. you know lazy, right? But that is boring on a lazy beat. So let's go. It's a hard night, like. For more, I see the album. It's a hard night. Like, bro, how, you cannot have a boring beat and then a boring flow. You can't do twice. But when that when that shit start, when that beat start doing something different, like that, I got the keys. Boom, 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 boom. And he get that lazy flow. Got it like what charges? A little pebble line lost shit. You know, it's one the one where he hit the. Y'all know the difference, right? Rap facts and fiction. Hey. Jay, you owe us, man. You owe us. That's all. Hey, he owe us. So salute to Jay Z for being a, a very rich person, a very great example of a, of a black man out here doing business and not being the greatest rapper alive. I, I can't give you that title. And um, and for this uh, Southern Trap album, he finna give us in a little bit because I, I put it out there. And when, once you said it, once you said it, what you put in the universe, it's gonna come. Salute to Jay Z. Jay Z and Trick Daddy. That was that what we should hear. Yeah, man. But anyways, man. Hey, it's been fun talking to y'all. Um, this is really therapy for me. You know, I like I really appreciate everybody who be listening to my channel. Make sure you follow me on the ground at I am Mac the DJ. Visit MacTheDJ.com. Real big cheap stuff from Kansas City, Florida. I holla at y'all. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. <laughs>